guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do my September favorites because I have a lot of things I wanna share with you guys. I just can't believe that September flew by so quickly. Like, I feel like I blinked and somehow we're in October. So let's just get into it. The first product that I wanna share with you guys is this 88 Neutral Color Eyeshadow Palette from BH Cosmetics. I walked by this at TJ Maxx just by chance and I squealed. Like, literally so loud that everyone at the store looked at me like I was crazy, but it was only $9 for all this eyeshadow. It comes with warm toned and cool toned eyeshadows, so I feel like this for $9 is a steal. You can create so many different looks, and the pigmentation on this is insane. Like, I'm gonna show you. Just, just look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. I just... For $9, you can't beat this price. Alec, I'm, I'm filming. I'm sorry, Princess. This so cute. Stop it. Leave me alone. Okay, so I... <laughs> That's my boyfriend. He's on FaceTime with me right now. He's making the funniest noises. I'm going to list the BH Cosmetics uh, website down below because I know you can get this online. I did get this at TJ Maxx for $9, but on their website you can get this for $11, which isn't so far off. It's such good quality for your money, so I suggest you guys quickly buy this palette. The next thing that I'm going to be talking about is Maybelline's Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in 310 Sun Beige. I bought this just to try it out. It has like a clean smell to it. I like smelling it. I'm weird. I love it so much because it really does um, mattify the face. It doesn't increase oiliness. This creates a flawless, smooth finish and it really helps people with oily skin such as I. And I feel like I always talk about my oily skin on here, but if you have oily skin, pick this up because I think this is only $6 at Walmart. For a drugstore, this is really good, so you know, you can't beat that. Do you notice how I'm just talking like I'm rambling, Alec? Because later on I have to edit this yeah. down. Okay, the next product that I'm going to be talking about is Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind. I know I talked about this in my haul video, but after using it for a full four weeks, I can... This is like my favorite thing to use to highlight. And I'm not saying like highlight the, you know, the highest points in my cheeks, but like to um, create the, the triangle of light right here and just to cover up my dark circles. I use a another concealer on top of this, um, but this just gives my face like that extra pop that it needs. It definitely brightens. I got this in Neutralizer, which I think is the perfect shade to brighten. It's not... I wouldn't use this just to conceal, and that's maybe because I used... I picked up Neutralizer and I should have picked up something that actually matched my skin color, but this is a little bit lighter than what I normally use for concealer, so it's perfect for adding the highlight to my face. So yeah, this, can you tell, in one month I've used that much already. I love this. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is this blush from Milani. This is their Baked Blush in Coralina. I think this is such a fun, pretty color and the little specks of gold and silver in it just, it's so beautiful. Like, look at this. It's gorgeous and on the cheeks, I'm wearing it right now but I don't know if you can tell because my lights make me look very washed out. But this is such a nice pop of pink on your cheeks. Like It's like that fun pink that doesn't make you look like a clown. I have to use a very light hand with this because this is so pigmented. I think this was $10 at, at Walgreens, but it's so worth it because I've been using this for over a month. Oh, my FaceTime ended. I've been using this for over a month and it's like, it's like I haven't even touched it. Talk about bang for your buck, you know? So, if you're ever in the drugstore and you see this, or you see any of the Milani blushes, the baked blushes, pick it up, because you will not regret it. This is so beautiful. I'm sure everyone here on YouTube knows what the Dip Brow Pomade is, but let me just, for the millionth time, to anyone who watches beauty gurus and stuff like that, I just want to rave about how good this is and how natural how good this is and how natural this makes my eyebrows look. I use the Real Techniques um, brow brow brush and this is my holy grail brow brush because it it's such a stiff brush and it creates such a nice line and I think it's like a perfect size for when you like 
get in this corner right here and you start filling it in there. It's perfect. And this, oh my gosh, when I first bought this, I was like, $18? $18? Who would pay for this? And a few months later, I'm... You can see it's cracked and used, but man, I swear by this. I cannot go a day without filling my eyebrows in. And it's because these, this product makes it so easy for my eyebrows to look natural. If you have sparse eyebrows or you want something that doesn't budge, like I don't even have to use um, eyebrow gel with this. This just works so well and it flattens my hairs down and it makes it just... I keep saying natural, but it really does just make it look natural. So go to Sephora, Ulta, wherever you can find this, or go to their website, get this, because you will not regret it if you want to draw your eyebrows on, but like have them look not drawn on. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I don't know. Just, just pick it up, because I love it. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is something I bought actually like a while ago, and I haven't been using it that much, except for this month. I originally bought this because... I wanted to get like a Kylie Jenner nude lip. Oh my god, I just love, I love her lip colors. And I thought this would be the perfect lip liner, lip filler, the perfect color for it. And it is Perfect Spice from Too Faced Perfect Lips. And it was, I don't know, I think it was $22. It was, it was expensive. I know it was like 20 something dollars. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check this out. It's what I'm wearing right now. Um, I line my lips with this. It's the perfect nude shade. For me, because my complexion is on the tanner side, this gives me like a natural outline. And it doesn't look crazy. I don't look like a chola when I wear it. I really recommend it. I'm gonna swatch. I'm gonna swatch it right now. Oh my god. Like, see? you see that? I don't know if you can see that. It's such a nice nude color. And it has like a mauve tint to it, which I love as well. Because it, it adds color. It doesn't look like weird nude crap on your lips. Also, it does not budge. It stays in place. Um, no matter how many times I apply my chapstick, this will... The color will... I mean, eventually, after eight hours, it's going to fade. But... Compared to any other lip liner, I feel like this, the longevity of this product itself, it stays very well, so I recommend it. My last beauty favorite is this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. <sighs> this is my favorite, but I have like one con about it, and my only con is that the formula is very drying to the lips. I love the color. It's it's what I'm wearing right now and I think it's like this nice natural like Kylie Jenner lip color. But it makes my it makes it look so dry. So I have to put chapstick underneath and on top of it, which kind of defeats the purpose of it being matte. Maybe it's because I have extremely dry lips. Anyone I don't know if anyone else complains about how dry this is. For me, it's drying, so I have to use an extra amount of chapstick. But I love... Oh my God. I love the way it smells. I love the color. I love the applicator. I love the size. I love the packaging. The little bunny and the little heart. Like, I love this so much. It just makes me angry that it dries out my lips. But, I mean, that's what chapstick is for, and that's why you can carry this in your purse to, you know, reapply it. So, that's not really, like, a big problem. But, yeah, this is... What? This is the... I love this. This is my current favorite lip color. This and this. I pair them together, actually. This is what I'm wearing right now. So, yeah. I'll link it down below. <laughs>